you know, one of the things we're seeing is as technology changes, we see how people use this technology, and it sometimes sets up vulnerabilities we didn't expect. Uh, as more and more people use their smartphones as streaming devices to get news, get radio, get a lot of things like that over their networks, uh, I don't think people realize how vulnerable they get. So we saw a situation back uh, uh, here in D.C. where there was an earthquake in Virginia, and there was no real damage to the cell system, but there was such high data demand and demand for getting through the system crashed and you couldn't dial out. So all of a sudden your smartphone became a brick. You didn't have anything. And we saw this again with Sandy as people have migrated to just using one device. When the cell systems went down or the data was overloaded, they couldn't get information. So when you get things where you can start combining functions, like putting FM chips into cell phones, and you start getting radio. So even if the cell systems are overloaded, you can still get that information, and it moves us beyond just streaming. But I think people need to take a step back. There's this tendency to think that things that work in our everyday lives are going to work the same way in a disaster. And a lot of our tendency to use streaming devices to be dependent upon broadband capabilities are vulnerable in a disaster. Uh, either through congestion or outages. So again, we still recommend every kit have a portable radio with some sort of emergency power, whether it's battery, solar, or hand crank. And so you now start seeing the technology moving into smartphones where you can have radio chips in there. This would be, again, another way to ensure that when all else fails, you can still get from the broadcasters information because government's going to turn to the broadcasters and we're going to pump information either through the emergency alert system or through just broadcasters getting out press conferences. And again, you know, we always tell you, all disasters are local, and the most important information are going to come from those local broadcasters that are plugged into local officials telling you what's going on on the ground. You know, so if you're, you know, depending upon the national news, you need to remember in a crisis, your best source of information is going to be the locals. And a lot of times, that's going to be on radio. And that may be the only way to get it. So again, we don't want you to, you know, think that, you know, this technology isn't great, but we also want you to think about in a disaster, can you get information and what's out there? And so, you know, again, we're still recommending you get a radio. And if your radio is now in your cell phone, that's just one less device that you have to have an extra, but it's important to make sure you can get those broadcast in an emergency.